This is the Gaumont British News, presenting the truth to the free peoples of the world. A mighty fleet has arrived in India, one of the greatest consignments of manpower ever to cross the ocean sailed from the United Kingdom. Defied the perils of air and undersea attack, anchored in several ports of the Indian Empire because no single port was large enough. This is a heartening picture at a time when that great eastern member of the British Commonwealth of Nations has carved so strange a figure against the background of our war. No wise man still thinks of India as she was when Kipling wrote, not at least in terms of Soldiers Three and social affairs at Simla. But the British soldier will always prove a better friend to India than the Japanese. Private Brown will not give away an empire by negotiation as Gandhi would have done. These are types chosen at random. One is a New Zealand airman who flew in the Battle of France and the Battle of Britain. How long have you been in the Royal Air Force? Uh, just over four years. Did you take part in the Battle of France? Yes, in the Battle of France, Battle of Britain. And now you've come out here to take perhaps part of the Battle of India? Yes, I have, sir. How many Nazi planes have you shot down? Thirteen and a half. Who shot down the other hand? The Sergeant Potter. Another is the skipper of an escorting warship. Well, on behalf of the ship's company, I'd like to say that we are very glad to have brought along safely a lot of the boys to their destination. And from what I can see of them, they're all full of beans and high spirits. And I'm sure that when they meet the enemy, they will prove that the old saying is as true as ever, that what is British is good. They came off the transports by barges, and from the barges in cargo unloading them. As good a cargo as ever was dumped on any quay. It's good to see the tanks come rolling along the dockside. It's good to see that the mother country has no intention of throwing her rich but troublesome ward into the arms of a suitor from Tokyo. It's good to see the mass of anti-aircraft guns that will make the skies of India hotter than the monsoon time. It's good to see the sons of India marching alongside their brothers of our empire that may still lay claim to greatness. Because any other country with half our problems would be flat on its back by now, not still on its feet and fighting.